in Europe a man by the name of Rothschild <clears throat> who claimed to be Jewish made this statement. He really didn't care who was king or ruler as long as he controlled the finance. Rothschild had five sons and he sent those sons into different parts of Europe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He sent one son to England, one to France, one to Italy, one to Austria, and one stayed at home with the father in uh, Germany. Yes, sir. And they all became a part of the house of Rothschild, but through manipulation of money, the son in England grew up and, and, and that became the Bank of England, the Bank of France, the Bank of Italy, the Bank of Austria, the Bank of Germany. These were central banks that printed the money of these nations that now were in the hands of a family that had spread out with not the intention of doing good, but the intention to become manipulators and controllers of the destiny of the world and nations. Come on, come on. Go ahead. Europe had many conflicts. Yes, yes. And the Rothschilds would finance both sides. That's right. That's right. What you don't understand is that war is a manipulation of money. That's right. You think you're fighting for democracy. A war to end all wars. Let peace reign in the earth. This is the tricky language that the wise and wicked use to trap the poor and the weak. Are you listening? Come on. The house of Rothschild became so strong Come on. that even when America was established, they kept through their agents in America trying yes. to control Central Bank. Yeah. Come on. It hurt to read of the Civil War. People in the South didn't want nobody freeing the slave. That's right. right. That's right. I was not evil when I said that 75% of Jews own slaves. I didn't say it. You all wrote it in your history. Now wait. If you own slaves and they were the bedrock of your wealth, you did not want America free. Many were at the root of the Confederacy and the Confederate flag yesterday as well as today. Abraham Lincoln was interfering with something bigger Come on. than just peace and war. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah, Come on. Rothschild, through his agents in America, financed the North and financed the South. Right. Come on. And more lives were lost of right. poor people who are idealists. Yeah. Thinking that they're fighting for these noble principles. And all at the same time, you're making the rich richer, but they're enriched at the price of your blood yeah. and the blood of your children and the blood of your children's children. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. See, 
Brothers and sisters, look. There are many people in the country that know this. Come on. Yes, sir. But they don't have the voice of the poor. Yes, sir. What makes it so dangerous for me to know it and even say it is because I have the voice and the ear of poor people. And once you know the truth, it's very difficult for you to go back into your sleep. So naturally to say these things, it puts the spokesperson at great risk. Because America has been built on your backs and if any truth comes to remove you, that's like somebody creating an earthquake. You see a beautiful building, but when the earth under it shakes, the walls come down, the ceilings come down. So that's why you have never been allowed a leader that could stay with you to speak to the masses of black people. Every time you had a leader that could speak to the masses, he was cut down. And he's cut down because the country is built on the backs of poor, poor white, poor black, on, that's right. poor Jews. Yes. That's right. Come on. Look, brothers and sisters. In 1922, I'm sorry, in 1912, on December the 22nd, the Central Bank of America was taken over by certain families. The Federal Reserve that prints the money is not owned by the government. That's right. That's right. Inside the government, betrayal went down. And under the presidency of Woodrow Wilson, who was elected in 1912, The Federal Reserve System was established Come on. in 1913. He came. Did you know that at 1912, when Woodrow Wilson was elected, The debt of America was about a billion, a billion dollars. When Woodrow Wilson left office in 1920, the debt had risen 800 times what it was when he came into office. How did that happen? Now you say, well, how does this impact on you in 1995? Can you hold on a few more minutes? Look, brothers and sisters, in 1912, Woodrow Wilson was elected. 1913, IRS is established. Why was the Internal Revenue established? Because those who took control of the money knew that they were going to increase the debt of the country. And they had to have a way to recoup the debt. So the revenue was supposed to be a graduated income tax. This is the way it was put before Congress. Which, by the way, a graduated income tax is the second plank in the Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx. And what 
When you hear the Republicans talking about taking back government and, uh, 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 and giving it back to the people, it's because the government was moving the country on a socialist trend. Yeah. Oh man, look. This thing is deep. Yes, sir. Look. Woodrow Wilson comes in and he's going to keep America out of the war. The war started in 1914. Is that right? Yes, sir. Come on. Woodrow Wilson's second term is in 1916. Come on. He's keeping America out of the war. This is the way they talk when it's time to get elected. But the big boys behind the door, they knew that the only way to increase the debt was to somehow get America involved in the war that was raging in 1914. So through the manipulation of an incident with a ship called the Lusitania, yeah, yeah. America declared war on Germany. Yes, sir. And in 1917, Come on. The American soldiers yeah, yeah. went to war in Europe. Come on. That's right. And in order to fight the war, America had to borrow money. Come on. That's yeah. right. right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on. So who do you borrow money from? Come on. Who do you borrow? From those who print the treasury bonds. Mm. Then they put interest on what America borrows. So the poor people are taxed <coughs> to pay the interest. Come on, that's right. Moreover, 1918, Woodrow Wilson leaves office in 1920, and America, that was one billion in debt when he came in, is now eight billion in debt, 800 times. Come on. Think of this stuff. What it was. Yes. And the interest the American people are paying. It was the war to end all wars. And in that war, many of our black brothers yes. were arguing and fighting because they wanted to fight for America. Yes, right. This great country. Not knowing that the whole thing was manipulated. By a handful of wicked men. J.P. Morgan. Yes. The Rockefellers. Yes. Come on. Loeb and Kuhn. Come on. And Schiff. Yes, sir. And the Warburgs. Come on. And the Rothschilds. Yes, These are Anglo-Saxons and Jews. Because it don't make no difference when you get to a certain level. We don't see ethnicity. We see money. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, World War I is gone. Follow me. Yes, sir. Now, here we are. Hitler rises. Here we go. Hitler's trying to get back what was taken from him. Come on, come on. And the Kaiser and Germany after World War I. Come on, teach us, teach us. Hitler starts moving in Europe. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Come on, right. Where are you going, Hitler? Hitler sees himself as some kind of messiah. Come on. And guess who financed him? See, this is what they don't want to talk about. But Warburg and Rothschild, these are Jews. Yeah. And some in America financed Hitler. Come on. Come on. Expose. Warburg, a Jew, yeah. can travel in Europe at the height of the war, right. sleep in fine hotels, right. while Jews 
are being burned in ovens. Now will the real anti-Semites stand up? in certain circles. Many young Jews don't know nothing about this. They're made to see Farrakhan as the enemy. Farrakhan is not your enemy. Your people are using me to get money from you. Oh, I'm going to expose them all tonight. <laughs> They say the FBI was set up to catch criminals. Well, that's true. But the FBI is a criminal organization. Oh, Farrakhan, how could you say a thing like that? In staid old Springfield. It's the best place to say things like this. In staid old Springfield. The FBI has been a criminal organization. Come on! They don't care nothing about law. They break the law to get at every black leader or white leader. Anybody who can disrupt destabilize, excite the poor That's right. That's right. under the name communism, That's right. under the name of any kind of thing they can think of, they come after you. Yes, right. Listen good now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know the FBI's history. Come on. Where we are concerned. That's right. Well documented. Go ahead. Was Mark Clark and Fred Hampton criminals? No, sir. They were members of the Panther Party. Was Marcus Garvey a criminal? No, sir. Was Noble Drew Ali a criminal? No, sir. Was W.E.B. Du Bois a criminal? No, sir. Was Paul Robeson a criminal? No, sir. Was Martin Luther King a criminal? No, sir. Well, damn it, how could you Come on. have streets named for Martin Luther King Jr. Come on. Come on. and you hypocrites line up on the 16th and you take ads out in the paper to celebrate the memory of a man that the FBI bugged this hotel whacked against him night and day tell me I'm lying they hated Dr. King what is the real truth of his assassination? They hated Malcolm. And they hated Elijah Muhammad. And they hated the NAACP and the Urban League. And they worked night and day to destabilize every black organization. Now, tell me I'm a liar.